In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a select button and when we select yes here, it will start to show alternative options here related to the question. So for example, here, do you have a car? Yes. If I say no, what happens now is the select option for the brands disappears. So let's put it back here. You can see here and there we are. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to show and hide the drop down based on the value of another drop down. First thing what we need to do is create here two drop downs. So imagine here I'm going to create a question here, for example, a paragraph here, do you have a car? And a car. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two select. And within the select, we have options. And we're going to put in here an option. First one would be please select and then what i will say here value will be equal to nothing so there's no value in here and then i'm going to copy this twice more and here i will say for example yes and this one will be no and the associated value with that or the value key will be number one for yes and number zero for no which is very similar to true and false true means one and false means zero so now we have this, and then what I will do here is, I'm going to say here, we can give this an ID, let's say car, and then what we will do here eventually is I will do an on change functionality, and I'm going to get to that later on. Uh, that should be equal, like that. All right, next what I want to do is I want to just duplicate this, put it in here, remove this one here, and here I'll say car brand, meaning if we have a car, if the answer is yes, we want to show the car brand option. Else, we have none at all. So I'm going to just put in here Ford, and I'll just say a Ford. Next, I'll say here Tesla. Then finally, here Toyota. Toyota. Oh. All right, make sure you spell it correctly. Toyota. All right. So now we have this here. But this one, by default, should be set on hidden. So what I'm going to do is, just to make it very easy, I'm going to make here a style or class. So we're going to use this uh, style text. I'm going to say here, uh, this could be denon. And we're going to say a dot denon as a class. I'm going to say a display. Uh, none, I guess. That will be fine. So the moment I grab this one now and put it in here as a class, and we're going to say a class equals this, and this is of course a string value. Save that, refresh, there we are. So you can see here it doesn't show. So if I would just come this out, oh, it doesn't work like that. Say display block, save that. You can see here it works. Now it's a block. I'm going to say uh, display none. So we'll hide it. There we are. So now what I want to do is I want to create a function here. So I'm going to put in some enters here. I'm going to say your script. I'm going to put in the JavaScript. And this JavaScript will be triggered by the functionality here. For example, I will say here uh, enable. Enable brand, and I'm going to put in the value of this. And this value refers to this element itself, the select element. So I'm going to show it to you. So let's copy this. I'm going to create a function here, function of the enable brand. And I'm going to say here, this was the this value. So I'm just going to say here, answer. And the answer, let's do a console log. I'm going to say console log answer to show what the answer truly is. So if I save this now, refresh, open up developer tab, let's click on yes, you can see here we get the answer, but you can see our answer is instead of the specific value, we, grab, we get everything of that element. And because of the, this value, it will select everything it's including. So what I want to do here is instead of answer, I want to say answer dot value to grab the value specific to say dot value save refresh now if i select yes we should see your number one which is correct that's the associated value with it and zero for no as you can see here 
All right, so now what we can do here is just to start checking if a condition is true. So if the answer is equals to one, then we want to show this here. So basically what we want to do then is to delete or remove this class here. So I'm going to say the following. Um, let's see, we're going to say if, I'm going to say if the answer value equals one, in that case, what I want to do here is I'm going to grab here now the ID of get element of a document document dot get element by ID and I'm putting here a string value of car brand. So basically what we're saying go search for the HTML document which is this document here or this document for a element and an element is as I indicated previously here and this is like an element the select tag or any tag here is an element. So look for an element with the name of car brand, which in this case is the select with the ID name of car brand. And then what we want to do here is we're going to say a dot, uh, we can say here maybe a class list. And the class list, we're going to say a dot remove. What I want to remove here is the D none, which is a string value. So that's our class value that we want to remove. So we're going to put it here. Sync quotation, then I say D none. So if I save this, refresh, if I say yes, all right, there we are. And you can see here, it instantly shows. However, it doesn't hide anymore the moment we have said no or please select. So that means that we need to solve that as well. So for that, all we can do here is just say else. If it is not the case, then what I want to do here is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say here, this will be at the node. So if I save this now, refresh, let's say you know, yes, all right, if I say no, there we are, and if I say please select, all right, and then what I will do is here now say yes, there you are. You can see here it will automatically understand it, removes the class here. And if I put a no, you can see the none. Then if I go here again, do this, it doesn't really change so it doesn't keep on adding another class on there that can happen sometimes but with the class list here it will first search does it contain already a denon if that is the case then it will not add another class or else we have an issue by removing it because we have to remove it multiple times so this works nicely and it's working exactly as expected so if you enjoyed this video and maybe want to know more about different options, I'm going to recommend you another one is the how to add on click to button in JavaScript, which is also related to forms, how we can add up a functionality on the on click button.